the way you develop conviction in the markets is if you experience it yourself you see it you're in the trenches you're actually investing whether a winning trade or a losing trade that's experience so why am i saying this you don't have to start with a lot of money it's never about get rich quick it's never about putting a large amount of money and expecting a large amount of return start small start with what you're capable of Hey guys, so if you're just starting out in the world of investing and trading, this video is for you because the entire context of what I want to share is aimed to help you as you begin your road to build assets and let those assets work hard for you. We'll talk about tips on how you can get started to get better in trading and investing with one goal, to be able to help you build the right conviction, build the right knowledge, and help you in this journey towards financial freedom. I'll also be showing you snippets of a broker, a platform that you could use called FXGT if you want to trade and you want to invest. So if you guys have any questions throughout this entire video, put it down in the comment section and I'll do my best to be able to answer them as well. So if you guys are ready, let's begin. Here's tip number one. You need to define your investment and trading timeline are you actually doing it for the short term aka for the next hours or days or a bit longer than that or are you doing it for the long term is this something that you want to position into for years i've been saying this over and over in my channel that it's important to set a financial goal meaning you're investing for key moments in your life you're probably using it for retirement for college tuition of your kids for certain factors that are important to you however Inside that, for you to be able to achieve that financial goal, what are you doing? Are you just trading for the short term, shorter time horizons, or are you doing it in longer stretches, macro movements in the markets? How your long-term and short-term horizon would be, it would determine the strategies that you would employ in that as well. So I want to say this, that your investment timeline influences your risk appetite. But not just that, also your decision-making process. Tip number two, you need to know about risk management and the way for you to protect your capital. People always look at how much they could actually earn. But I'd always say this, that it's important to look at what your downside is, how you can also protect yourself from losing money. Always remember this, you cannot play a perfect game when you invest. You cannot play a perfect game when you trade. There will be moments in your trading and investing career that you will lose money. But the goal of risk management, the goal of protecting your capital is that when you're correct, when you're right, you maximize it to its fullest potential. But when you're wrong, you know how to minimize your losses. A couple of ways on how you could actually do that is by creating stop losses that when certain support levels are breached, you start to cut and then you get out from a losing trade. Or when you're shorting and then it goes up, you also get out of that as well. It has to be something that you predefine. It has to be something that you do and you set way before you enter a position because when you enter the position already you might become emotional if those things are not set in motion another way also that you get to protect your trades is by doing diversification i've said this over and over in so many videos and the more intentional you are in the way you diversify the more you will have confidence also because it allows you to just allocate a certain amount to a certain position to a certain asset class that you are comfortable with every time you are not comfortable already with a certain amount that means you're putting in more than you should and that's why you need to diversify it's okay to spread things around if the main goal is to protect the capital that you have as well tip number three knowledge empowering yourself with financial literacy it's so important in your goal in your journey as an investor as a trader to keep on learning I've been in the market for about 16, 17 years now, but I, I want to say this, that it, it never stops. Eh? I spend time to actually learn. I spend time to enhance my skills because the moment you stop learning, you don't get better. The moment you stop learning, that's when you start to also degrade. The moment you fail to do things that will make you better, to make you smarter, you start losing your edge. Especially in the world of investing, you don't have to be an expert in everything. You don't have to know every nook and cranny, but it's, it's nice to be informed in the asset class or the stock or the commodity or the technology that you want to be invested on. Either you pick a category of where you want to specialize on, either technical analysis, price action, movement, 
volume history or fundamental analysis. The economy, the company, its earnings, its balance sheet, its debt, the leadership, and so much more. Please do remember this. The reason why you spend a lot of time learning and increasing your knowledge and spending a lot of time in towards financial literacy that will also form part of your edge as an investor versus everyone else tip number four and this i think is important learning from the markets it's okay to study it's okay to watch videos it's okay to read it's okay to see how other people do it but ultimately what will make you a better investor is when you actually experience it people say that the best type of learning is learning from the mistakes of others that's true, but learning from the mistakes of others doesn't develop conviction. The way you develop conviction in the markets is if you experience it yourself. You see it, you're in the trenches, you're actually investing, whether a winning trade or a losing trade, that's experience. So why am I saying this? You don't have to start with a lot of money. It's never about get rich quick. It's never about putting a large amount of money and expecting a large amount of return. Start small, start with what you're capable of. I know I've been saying this over and over because that's the reality of it. You start small, not just with the goal of you getting rich off of that small amount, but with the goal that you gain enough experience, you gain enough insight from your trades, you gain enough insight from what you're actually doing. And as you start doing it, and as you start gaining insights from that, and you become more confident and you know what you're already doing, that's when you start putting in more. You gradually increase your exposure by the way your experience is also increasing. When you learn from your mistakes, that's where you'll get better eh? and you try to improve on it. That's where when you look back in your entire trading career, that's where you get better. You don't need to be great to start, but you need to start to be great. That's why it doesn't matter how big the amount is as long as you actually start. Tip number five is this. As part of your research, as part of your knowledge also, you need to find a broker that works for you, a broker that fits you. I also want to talk about FXGD as a broker that you could actually try. For those who want to learn more about them, I have links down below to give you more insight and information about the company as well. But basically, FXGD is a reputable broker with a user-friendly platform. I think it makes it a bit interesting because there's a lot that makes it a bit scary for people to invest. There's a lot of platforms that make it intimidating for people, but FXGT is relatively user-friendly. For those who are asking about licenses, they have licenses via the Financial Sector Conduct Authority in South Africa. They also have the Vanuatu Financial Services Commission, and they also are in the Financial Services Authority in Seychelles. FXGT also has awards and recognitions for exceptional services and client support. Their security of funds and leverage with FXGT. They are assuring the security of clients' funds with advanced security measures. And what's very, very interesting also from FXGT is that for those who like to use leverage, there's a lot of flexibility when you start picking the amount of leverage that you like. And please do note this also that leverage is also a two-edged sword. It's something that could help you in terms of earning more, but it's also something that could hurt you if it's the opposite side of a trade. What FXGT could give you, it's merely a tool that could allow you the flexibility to be able to trade with leverage in a preference that works for you as well. Because at the end of the day, there's no one-size-fits-all investment. It has to be something that works for you. That's why I encourage you to check out the links down below to be able to research more and to learn more about what FXGT is. Because at the end of the day, don't take this video alone as a push for you to be able to invest. You have to do your own due diligence. You have to take the time to study. If you're studying to know how you're actually trading, take the time also to study the broker that you want to put your money into. Check out its stability, how easy it is for you to put in money, how easy it is also for you to take out money, the fees that are involved, the regulations that are involved, and so much more. So we've talked about investing horizons. We've talked about risk management, knowledge, and empowering yourself via financial literacy. We've talked about gaining the experience. We've talked about choosing a platform. Number six is this, practice. One way for you to practice is you could actually open an account, FXGT being a platform that you could also use to be able to practice and start doing it there. Similar to what I said earlier, for experience, you can start practicing with a small amount until you gain the conviction to actually do it and try it with larger amounts as well. What I suggest also as I'm investing and trying it with a small amount, try doing it with a practice account with the benefits of you getting 
familiarized with the platform, with you getting a feel of how the game is, but without you risking your own capital. So I think that could go side by side while you are researching, doing fundamental and technical analysis, learning more about the company, learning more about how you trade and invest as well, and also starting with small amounts. But a practice account will allow you also to see if the platform is for you. It's also for you to see if trading is actually for you as well. It allows you also to gain the skills. It allows you also to start analyzing as well. And that's what a practice account can actually do for you. It's not just about starting small, but starting and practicing without risking your own capital. So make mistakes, choose a platform that works for you, then start practicing without risking first your capital and having the ability to refine your skills and having the ability to trade at your own pace by using the trial account as well. Just to put this to a close, we've covered the crucial factors to consider before diving into the world of trading and investing. Remember, having a defined timeline implementing effective risk management, acquiring knowledge, and gaining experience are keys to success, to be a very, very good investor and trader. And when it comes to finding a broker that you could use, you could try out FXGT with their licenses, their awards, their security of funds, their leverage options, the support that they offer, the tools that they have, and the practice accounts that you could actually use to further enhance and refine your skills as a trader and investor. If you want to take your first step in investing, check out FXGT by opening an account with them and start practicing before committing real funds as well. I hope that this video was something that was insightful. I hope you learned from this. I hope that this is something that gave you enough insights also to be able to trade the markets with confidence and to be able to see if trading is actually for you as well. Remember, always do your own due diligence regardless if it's picking a platform or also investing in companies that you want to believe in or even also in trading. Never ever buy something just because you hear it off YouTube. I'll always say this, it's your money, it's your responsibility. It has to be you who should take the time to be able to learn because at the end of the day, it's your dream, it's your goal and no one will work harder for your dream than you. So that's it for now, Marvin Germo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you. Bye.